so you might be trying to figure out what the differences are between nearby share or nearby share and airdrop. Now, I will tell you, both are basically going to be the exact same thing for the most part. So it's not like you're going to, you know, get a crazy big difference on one over the other one. They're both going to be doing almost the exact same thing. And they both basically, like I said, at their core, they're going to give you the same functionality. So what ends up happening is if you want to go ahead and share files between different Android devices or different iPhones, they will give you the you know, advantage of basically sending these files quickly, you know, over NFC and things like that to kind of quickly transfer files over data, Bluetooth, whatever you have, and Wi-Fi, those are going to be the same functionality between both. Now, there's a slight difference between these two as well. So for one, with the new features within AirDrop, there are a couple of cooler advantages I would say that AirDrop has over things like nearby share. So for one, all the features within AirDrop, they kind of give you a few things. One, you can now do contact sharing by just tapping two phones together. You can like transfer a lot of files by just tapping two devices together too. Some Android phones have had this capability for a while, but specifically with the nearby share as a total for like all Android phones out there, this is a little bit of a different experience as well because it's not going to be, I guess, as featureful or as cool as something like AirDrop. Now, you, for the big thing for the most part too, is that with AirDrop, you can use it within most Apple products. It doesn't really even matter if you're on the same iOS version or whatever. As long as you have that AirDrop functionality, you can go ahead and use it. But AirDrop has always been a little bit buggy for me. I've always had lots of like random issues that would kind of run around and just kind of give me some weird experiences within it, which was kind of annoying for a while. You kind of get a little used to it, but I do think still for some people, it can be kind of annoying. With nearby share, you can use this with all you no know, Android phones, and it does have Windows support too, which is actually really cool. So Google did release a nearby share app for Windows. So this is something that's really cool because you can actually go ahead and utilize it between a Windows PC and an Android phone. So that's just you know kind of combining a lot of things within Windows and Android again. And that is actually something that was actually really, really cool. And in and of itself for me, it's something that's really awesome for these types of devices. So I do think that in and of itself is another really cool thing and a really cool advantage for this type of device. Beyond that though, there are still a lot of reasons why I still think AirDrop might be better in some ways. I think if you're going from iPhone to iPhone, it is just such a super easy process and I love it. But it's funny because with a nearby share, I don't really know too many people who like use it on an everyday basis. I think some people use it here and there, but as often as I see AirDrop used, I don't really see nearby share being used that much. They both share the same purpose. They both can give you the same type of capability for the most part. It just so happens that with something like nearby share, it might be maybe people don't know about it or maybe people just don't care about it that much. But that would be kind of the thing that I would look at is that nearby share is probably the overall, you know, it's, it's a really nice feature to be able to use between Androids and Windows PCs. But AirDrop is probably the one that most people probably end up using on an everyday basis. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.